Hello, this is Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Social Squared. Social Squared is available for SharePoint Online, SharePoint on-premises, and also Microsoft Teams. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Teams environment and how it can be used inside of Teams channels in order to categorize conversations. So one of the things you'll notice is inside the Posts tab, Demo User 6, who I'm currently logged in with, has created an important question. It's business critical. They can't join a Teams meeting, and they're looking for help. And that has been overlooked with other conversations that have taken place during the day, and they can move quite quickly based on the number of members inside of a team. So instead of creating a question that could get overlooked inside the posts tab, one of the things you could do is use the social squared forums where those conversations have been categorized into different forum groups and forums. And you'll see in here that in this particular example, I've created forum groups for Microsoft Teams, for Microsoft Planner, for programming languages, and also for Microsoft SharePoint as well. And uh, with inside those forum groups, we've got other forums such as Teams channels or Teams meetings. We've got general under Microsoft Planner and so on. And of course, it's possible to not just use Social Squared for a technical environment like this, but also for other sorts of forum groups that you may find that are useful inside your business. It may be for capturing ideas or getting feedback from users inside your team as well. So in this particular example, Demo User 6 has the Teams question where they can't join a Teams meeting. So they can, first of all, search to see if there's any similar questions that have been asked. They could navigate to the appropriate forum, in which case that's fairly obvious. We can go into the Teams meetings forum and uh, we can see that there's only one post in there and it's not really relevant to the type of post that I was creating. Um, and they can go through and add a new topic if they can't find the answer that they are looking for. So as I click on to add new topic, you will notice that if I was to start typing something that looks like a previous topic that has been created, then it will suggest that topic to you and you could navigate to that. But that's not the case here. Um, my subject is basically going to be cannot join Teams meeting. And, uh, and in here we could go through and create the body of our post. So cannot join Teams meeting and it is business critical. Please help. Okay, and they can use the rich text formatter to highlight different things. So if they wanted to highlight the words business critical or anything like that, they can do that. And uh, that, of course, is going to help anybody that may be uh, looking to respond to this post that may be a subject matter expert. And uh, in here, we can post anonymously if we want to. We can also tag it. So, so Social Squared has actually suggested some tags, uh, such as the Microsoft Teams tag. Uh, we've got Teams channel, which may be relevant. Uh, we've got Teams meeting as well. And uh, I could also go through and uh, tag this with other terms as well that aren't being suggested to me, such as the word critical. So once I've created my post, I can click on to add. Um, but before I do that, I just want to point out that I am also going to be subscribed to that topic as well. So as we go back into it, you'll notice that the subscribe and the unsubscribe is something that you can toggle on and off. And it's always a good idea to make sure that you are subscribed. So when somebody does reply to me, I'm going to be notified inside of Microsoft Teams and also via email if that's enabled so that I can see that somebody has responded to me. So we'll sit here and wait for a reply. And what I'm going to do is just jump in as another user. So we'll go into the Teams meeting forum. And in here, I can see that there's a brand new post. I would also be notified about that as well because I am a moderator and, uh, and I'm also subscribed uh, to this forum as well. So as I go into that, I can certainly help with this. So I can go through and reply and we can paste in my reply here. And I may also include some images and that type of thing too. So I can certainly drop in an image here, position that image anywhere inside my, my post. I can have the, the text wrapping the image and so on. We can resize the image and I can also caption it as well. So that's going to be my, my response. Uh, I also get the option of tagging it as well if I want to, uh, but I can see that it has already been tagged appropriately. Uh, so in here, I can just basically hit reply and hope that that helps. So meanwhile, Demo User 6 has been notified of a reply 
they can see here that there is a response. Uh, there is uh, one reply to this post and uh, hopefully this helps so they can go through and provide some feedback to other users as well. So as we onboard people in the future that may also be experiencing difficulty in joining Teams meetings or whatever the question may be, uh, they can also learn and uh, become more confident with the replies that have been provided. So one of the things that I could do as Demo 6 is mark this as answered and that is going to provide that feedback to anybody else reading this thread and know that this suggestion helped. Uh, they could also provide some of the feedback such as voting and liking as well and these features can be switched on or switched off depending on whether they're appropriate to your type of forum. So Demo User 6 has provided that feedback and, uh, and now we can go through and easily see uh, that that post has been marked as answered when we go back into the forum. And so here is the mark as answered symbol. So what we can also do is make sure that we maintain some integrity against the different posts that are being created inside these different forums. So if we go into the Teams channel forum, for example, we can see in here that there is actually a question that has been raised about Microsoft SharePoint and what is SharePoint. And uh, that, of course, has been asked in the wrong forum group. So what I can do as the moderator of these forums or as the owner of this team is actually go through and move that topic. So we can click on to move topic and uh, rather than it being inside the Teams channel uh, forum, we can actually go through and select a more appropriate forum. So I'm going to select the SharePoint forum and, uh, and move the topic to that instead. We can also see in here there's a question about what is Microsoft Viva. Now that's going to be perhaps missed completely because maybe there's not a Microsoft Viva expert uh, inside this uh, team. So what we can do is actually go through and capture any Viva questions inside its own forum group. So in here we can click onto the settings and I can do that as the team owner. I can add a forum group so we'll call this Microsoft Viva and add that forum group and inside the Microsoft Viva forum group I'm going to go through and add some other forums so we'll have insights and we can specify who the moderator may be uh, for anything related to uh, Microsoft Viva insights and uh, we can go through and add that so we have that uh, brand new uh, forum being created down here and we've also got the topics forum that we can create and uh, we can go through and add that one as well and it's optional whether we want to have a moderator or not so now that we've got those uh, those two uh, we can simply go through and access this post and we can uh, we can move it to a more appropriate location so we can select one of the the Viva topics and, uh, and move it across to to there so that's how we can organize the content as well and that will mean that people are able to find the conversations very easily um, based on the, the forums that are being created in but rather than navigate what you can also do is search um, or also use the tags that have been created as people have been posting so right at the very top here if I did a search, for example, for SharePoint, uh, we can see that there's a lot of, of different posts around SharePoint and we can view any of these topics that we want to, uh, to view. We can also limit the results based on date and time. Uh, and our search can include tags as well as the content uh, or the title of each of these posts also. So that's how we can go through and search. We could also come down here to the tags and the tags show me different ways of navigating to the content as well. So if I was to click onto the word SharePoint, that's another way of getting to all the SharePoint questions. Uh, if we had um, the Teams permissions or something like that, we can jump straight to that as well. So that's how we can also navigate content based on, on tags. And you can use the type of tags that I've been using or one of the other options is to also enable Social Square to work with the metadata uh, used inside your term store as well. So down on the left hand side there's also some other views of content. You'll notice in here that we've got the tag cloud view that you just saw. Uh, we also have a unanswered topics view. So as people have been asking these questions like demo user 6 did, uh, as a subject matter expert I may come in here and you know, of course go through and reply to people that may be waiting for an answer. Um, or if it has been answered, we can go through and, and mark it as answered. And then we also have other views such as users posts. So if I 
was wanting to look at what else demo user six has been posting for example i can go through and view that content and i can see it actually it's only that one post that they uh, they posted uh, but uh, yet yeah, we could also go through and see other information about demo user six using the people card as well and also in here is a recent activities uh, we've also got a followers view so we can see who's following me and who I'm following and that way we can get notifications based on users when they do post and we've also got a uh, popular topics view as well so this is popular based on the number of views and the number of replies that each of the posts have received so that's some of the functionality inside of Social Squared for creating topics and replying to topics and organizing that content using forums. Uh, the other thing that I'll point out is that inside my technical support team, I've also got some other channels around things like Microsoft Planner, Microsoft Viva, SharePoint, and so on. And what might be useful is to actually display some of these forum groups inside of one of those channels, but really sort of make it contextual by uh, limiting it to just one particular forum group. So you'll notice in here under Social Squared forums that I've already added uh, to this particular channel as well that all of the forum groups display but what we can do is go into the settings and specify that we only actually want to see the new Microsoft Viva forum group that I created and that way we're not limiting what gets displayed because we can always go to the general tab and, and see all of the conversations but whilst I'm inside the Microsoft Microsoft Viva channel, um, we're focusing in on Microsoft Viva content inside of that particular forum. Okay, so that's a, a quick tour of Social Squared, but if you do want to arrange a private demonstration and look at all of the features, then please feel free to do so. On this page, you will find the uh, requested demonstration button. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope this was useful. Thank you.